Luke Thomas got on his pod and decided to answer back and clap back to fucking, um, what's his face? Jesse on fire. So let's actually play that. I didn't actually update you guys on what happened there. I made the video on Jesse on fire, but um, Luke Thomas did reply back to him with his version of a clapback, um, which a lot of people in the sub have been going goo goo gaga over. Um, I don't particularly think it was that impressive, the clips I've basically seen, but I did clip the entire thing in full. It's like a bit of a six minute rant, and we're going to just watch it together, and then I'm going to give you my impression of what I think along the way. But, you know, spoiler alert, I didn't think it was that good of a clapback, and I think it was a little bit misplaced, some of his rage. But hey, Let's see the clip anyway, and you can maybe disagree with what my point of view is on here. What are your thoughts on Jesse on Fire's video on you? Also, any advice for a guy going into college? I don't know what the advice for college would be. Um, you uh, you don't have to have everything figured out in college. How about that? You don't have to have everything figured out in college. Um, I thought, yeah, you had to have all the answers, and uh, you're 18. You don't know anything. You don't need to know anything. Try to experience everything you can and try to learn. It is not such an important question that you have to kind of like have life anxiety over it. All right. Uh, as it pertains to the other one, it's like, dude, I don't even know what to say about shit like this. Let me just say this. There are a few of these guys of this type where, first of all, they have like, they have like uh, titles. They don't have, they don't use their real names. I can think of three of them, but there's some other ones as well. You know, and of course, some of the largest creators do that as well. But I just. Who's he talking about, about the other guys? Obviously, he's talking about Jesse on fire. Does he mean um, the guy that I like? Who, who's the English guy? Um, MMA guru. Is he talking about him as well? Who, do, if you guys in the chat know who are more plugged in than me, is he talking about MMA guru? Or is he just talking about Jesse on fire? Who's the other guys that he's mentioning who use names like that? Like, who's he, who's he, who's he talking about? He's talking about guru. Okay, cool. So MMA guru, um, Jesse on fire, and Red Bar. You think he's talking about Red Bar? MMA guru I get because MMA guru I think he beefs with everybody he beefs with Ariel he's beefing with probably him and I get why guru wouldn't like Luke Thomas I get it you know I get the whole attitude like clash how they kind of come across even Ariel too right um I get it too even though I love Ariel I think I can see why they all wouldn't like each other but um yeah that's interesting sort of mean like they are in, they're up front telling you that they're not they're not interested in being sort of seen as serious people um but the bigger point is this. It's like there's a certain like version of just internet loser that appears to be very concerned with what I have to say about things. Ra, my guy MMA guru is 24 years old. Bodybuilding news, is that true? Shit, bro. He's a he's an experienced 24 year old, isn't it? He doesn't look like it as well. He looks like he's in his face. I love the guy and shit, but fucking hell, mate. Bloody hell in ways that surprises me. And I just, I need them to understand something. And I'm honestly not even trying to be mean. I don't care about you, any of you. Like, <laughs> they care deeply what I have to say. I don't care about anything you say. I don't care about your opinions on anything. I don't care about what content you make. I don't care what you have, like they, they use my content. I don't, I'm not gonna put down copyright strikes on them. I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't get this whole I don't care thing. You can't say you don't care when you take out six minutes of your stream to basically reply to the question. If you didn't really care, you would have just seen the question about Jesse on fire and the college thing, answered the college thing, said no comment on Jesse thing, and just kept it moving and said, look, I wish those guys all the best. Um, we disagreed. To, we have to agree to disagree and just kept it moving. If you do care, this is why you make this sort of rant, to be fair, to be honest. You do kind of care. Let's be fair. And also saying you're not going to copyright strike somebody's content isn't something to kind of give yourself a pat on the back of, really. You shouldn't do it in general. It's, just, it's definitely a bit of a faux pas in this whole content creation game thing that we got going on. But if you don't do it, it shouldn't be, oh, I don't copyright strike people, so you should give me a round of applause. You know what I mean? That's a bit insane, Luke. I, lo I love you, Luke. But you're, you know what I mean? You're smelling your own farts a bit. That's a bit wild. But hey, let's continue. I don't in any part of my day ever think it's a useful version of my time to hear anything that they have to say literally about anything, Inclu including and especially me. Like, why would I do a bare minimum of investing? Brandon said it's a paid question. He always answers everything. No, that's fair. It's a paid question. I get it. 
But if he didn't care, he could easily say, hey, thank you for the paid question, whatever, the super chat, um, the Jesse on Fire thing. I really don't want to get into that stuff. I don't want to be involved in any more drama. If you don't care, I'm just arguing against not caring and then speaking about it for six minutes. That's my only contention. I'm not disagreeing with Luke. I like the guy, but you can't say you don't care and then you spend six minutes answering the question kind of goes against not caring sort of thing it's just bizarre when people do that thing it doesn't even bother me i'm not even caring it's like if you don't care you either ignore it or you respectfully decide to not kind of engage with it and sort of just keep it moving investigation into what he's not alone there's other ones like him but a bare minimum of investigation into them these are these are people they are loud for the sake of being loud they are not interesting they're not bright they're not well read <laughs> There's nothing interesting about them. Why? This is the best insult, actually, I think he made about these guys, right? They're loud for being for the sake of loud. They're not interesting. They're not well read. This is pretty brutal. I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty brutal dressing down. But I just argue about the not caring part of it. That I don't really think it makes a lot of sense, to be fair. Why the fuck would I care? Dude, say what the fuck you want to say. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care at all. You never see me bring them up. I don't give a shit. They, this dude, Justin on fire, he follows me on Twitter. I don't follow him. He hit me up about a year ago to collab on a video. I didn't hit him up, right? Of course he would, though. This Again, this is a strange point a little bit also. Of course he'd hit you up. You're the established journalist. You're the established media figure. You're well-known in the industry. You're, you and Ariel are basically the, the kind of um, the gold standard when it comes to MMA you know combat sports journalism and shit it makes sense why they'd reach out to you wanting to kind of have you be their mentor or do some work collab that isn't i don't know does it feels like a weird thing to kind of brag about you know those guys are smaller creators clearly they should be reaching out to you if they're not reaching out to you in some regards maybe they're not doing what they're doing right i don't i don't care about you i don't care you utterly meaningless in my life <laughs> And, and useful ways in which I want to spend my time. And of course, everyone's trying to do this bit where it's like, and this will get used too. Like, oh, you care, you're doing this thing. I care in enough to answer this question. Okay. And then I don't want to talk about it anymore because I don't give a fuck. Come on. I don't give a fuck about any of you guys. Zip. That you can't even use your, you don't even use your names. You give you guys, there's chat board screen names. What are you, fucking 40? Like, what are you doing? That's a bit lame also because some people don't want to use their fucking real names on social media. That isn't something to kind of use as a point of, um, that isn't something that you could kind of use against them as an insult. It's a strange thing because some people nowadays, the, the space in social media where you can ex basically exist being anonymous. Um, like the guy that I like um, who does MMA uh, fucking journalism. Who's the dude that does really good breakdowns? I forgot his fucking name and his logo is like a feather. What's his fucking name? Most of you guys who watch UFC know what I'm talking about. That guy's really good. He doesn't, no one knows what he looks like and shit. I don't really, you know what I mean? He just does stuff with just his voice and shit. Now you can do that nowadays, right? You're allowed to be private if you want to be. The fact that Luke had to kind of step out and be Luke Thomas and work a corporate job and do that sort of stuff is a little bit, you know, that's his own thing. Same with me. I use my real name, but if you don't want to use your real name, that shouldn't be something to kind of knock you down for, in my personal opinion. That, yeah, I said Jack Slack. That's the one. Jack Slack is fucking awesome. So just because you use a pseudonym for yourself, that isn't a bad thing, personally speaking. Okay. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about your channels. I don't give a fuck about your opinions. They're profoundly stupid and not worth my time. Actually, you know what's funny? The joke is really, it's on me, but it's on them and they don't even realize it. Like, it's on me. Here, here's what I mean. Like, here's how... We, Getting back to the conversation about like, I've reached certain things, but I'm not where I want to be. Here's how you know I have underachieved. Look at the level of my antagonist. This is a good point. Just the most pathetic version you've ever seen. Like that is the person that thinks that like we're peers enough to have these like, mo like what the fuck? Like nothing says, nothing is like the saddest shit. The biggest critique you could make of my career is that that these kinds of people are the people who think that they're my antagonist like oh my but to be fair to be to be fair to these guys right most people in the mma space who don't rate luke who don't think he's good or think he's shit or think he's overrated or think he's obnoxious or think he's self-absorbed or think he's annoying whatever they think about him they probably aren't in this position to say what jesse on fire and mma guru can say because they kind of work for corporations they're not doing shit on their own
So they can't really, they can't really be a bit, they can't, you know, they can't fly off the seat of their pants kind of thing, you know, you know what I mean? They can't just like say shit. So it's probably makes a lot of sense why those guys go after him because number one, they're smaller. They're trying to, you know, aim for the guy at the top. And also they're free. They're not, you know, they're not flipping locked in by anybody else. I can kind of tell them what to say and what not to say. So the fact that they're saying what they're saying about you is okay for what it is because they've got their criticisms of you. Even if it's not if it's not said in the nicest way, I don't really see it being that big of an issue. It's not really like, oh, the, look at my level of opponents. This is a disgrace. These guys are ridiculous. It's like, mm. but who else would be going after you though? You know, like who else would be? No one else who's actually trying to make a career in this space would because it would be like, you know, maybe upsetting the apple cart and maybe kind of burning bridges for the sake for the for, for no sake of it so it makes a lot of sense why they're doing it i don't know again maybe i'm just looking at it from the wrong point of view i'm not really locked into all this stuff when it comes to the beef within the mma world anyway with the journalists and the talking heads i don't really know what underlying stuff have been said maybe mma guru and jesse on fire said some shit before about luke that's like way overboard and now it's never gonna you know ever gonna go back to normal I don't really know. But from what I'm just reading and what he's saying so far, I don't know. It seems a little bit sus. My fucking God. Do you know what like an underachiever you have to be for that to be <laughs> the situation? At least I'm honest about it with you, right? Like I'm telling you the truth. Like I, I get that. Like that is my fucking attack. Like when Chael made a video about me, I responded to Chael. That's a worthy adversary. Like what the, f these fucks. Like, you just got to be kidding me, bro. You just got to be kidding me. I cannot believe these fucking mongrels think that we are peers. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So I don't give a fuck. Say, I, like, say what you want to say, dude. Like, I, <laughs> it doesn't, like, it doesn't change anything. I don't know. Keeping, calling people that you don't care about mongrels kind of means you care. Thing about my life. None of it is interesting. Like, it's proximity to the truth. Here's how confident I am, and I'll end on this one. I encourage anyone in my audience to please go hear what they have to say, and this gentleman and some other ones as well. And if in the end, like that content is better for you, I encourage you to go. I encourage you. We don't have the same audience. Like I, there's no doubt in my mind, like the kind of audience that I want would, like they're not interested in my your my audience is better than your audience like this is some fucking baby shit these are all grown men with kids gray hairs mortgages bills family to look after you know wife on the phone blowing you up complaining kids needing this like these are grown men with grown men problems and here they are comparing each other's audiences my audience is better than your audience my dad can beat up your dad like this is pathetic bro i'm not gonna lie <laughs> this is kind of pathetic <laughs> antagonists of this level oh my god dude how it's so fucking embarrassing that i have to be like these are the people that are these are the people coming after you oh my god dude people that look like they've been tasered on the side of the highway in north florida <laughs> another one who looks like a skin tag that someone fucking <laughs> super glued pubic hair too i mean <laughs> okay he's definitely talking about mma guru that's a fucking brilliant insult isn't it jesse on fire looks at like somebody honestly let's go back to that that is a fucking brilliantly that's why he's a good journalist right he's definitely got away with words that is a fucking incredibly descriptive way to describe someone like a jesse on fire i called him evil uriah faber but i don't even think that that does that does him justice because uriah faber is such a nice human being you know he emits such positivity and such a dying piece such a legend hall of famer it doesn't really make sense to compare jesse on fire with uriah faber in any way shape or form even if you're calling him evil uriah but luke thomas's insult was way better than mine that was brilliant oh my god dude how it's so fucking embarrassing that i have to be like these are the people that are these are the people coming after you oh my god dude People that look like they've been tasered on the side of the highway in North Florida. Another one who looks like a skin tag that someone fucking super glued pubic hair to. I mean, we are just talking about fucking garbage pail kids coming after you with loud opinions, utterly centered on nothing. Like, what do I think about it? I don't. So big up, honestly, Luke Thomas for that. That was brilliant. I think calling... um 
what you call it mma guru my guy that insult about what is it like velcro or something about the thing that's hilarious especially with that beanie and the way his beard looks and shit you know we all know it's a bit hilarious so big up him i think you'll take that in good jest my only issue with this insult or with this fucking rant from Say, um sorry little- from luke thomas where he's trying to basically paint it out like he doesn't care my only fucking pushback of it would be this if you remember that rant that jesse on fire went on he did specifically say he was only going after Brian Campbell. He did say some somewhat nice things about Luke. He's always defending him. He's always not really getting involved and pushing back sort of thing. He did really direct most of his ire, most of his, I'll fucking stick my dick in your face. I'll fucking make you fuck my mouth or something, whatever that Justin Fire was saying, right? He really was directing most of his rage at BC. He really wasn't going at Luke. So the fact that Luke decided to fly out the window and go on this fucking I'm better than you thing. I went to college. You didn't go to college thing. This kind of, you know, whatever thing that he went on this rant. It was a little bit, a little bit, um, what's the thing called? A little bit out of place. I mean, it didn't really match, you know, the energy that thing he was giving out. Because he didn't go after him. Jesse on fire went after BC. But Luke took it super personally. And now he's like, you know, in this weird sort of zone where he's basically saying his friends are better than his friends, all this stuff. It's just strange. I don't know. 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 Okay, what do you say? Teju said he did talk about Luke for 20 minutes. Okay, what do you say about Luke for 20 minutes then? For the clip that I saw, it felt like he was going more at BC than Luke. So maybe I'm wrong, but um, I don't know. I found some bits in the interesting. I just think the whole premise of not caring and then going on around for six minutes, calling them wrong rules, saying your fans are better, saying they're not educated and not well read, they're basically dummies, saying they're double digit IQ, your triple digit, maybe four digit IQ, quadruple or quad digit IQ person. I think all that is fucking weird, personally. And all these men being grown men with kids and families, um, doing what they're doing is fucking bizarre to say the least. And, you know, they probably all deserve each other, to be fair. They all probably deserve each other. And uh, I don't know. I, I honestly don't give a fuck to know the details of their beef, to be honest. I'm just reacting about the things that they're reacting about. But then to kind of cover and to kind of go on the back of it, um, I guess the next day, like a good rage film monster that Luke Thomas is, I think the next day he did regret going on that rant because when BC did try and bring it up and try and gist a bit and do a bit of skits and bits, Luke shut it down and usually he doesn't shut stuff down when BC goes on these little skits and bits he lets Luke basically do his thing no he lets BC do his thing sorry so the fact that Luke shut this down is proof to me that he kind of regretted the rant he went on to be fair he kind of regretted the rant so this is um them the day after the rant that the day after Luke Thomas's clap back right let's let's uh hear them be able to find the kids up it also guys for clipping this uh there was uh some explosiveness explosions on the uh on the reddit sphere luke uh nuke thomas apparently arrived and oh, said God, can we just not talk about this bullshit please it got me- it got very methy yesterday luke and i and, he, and it was you know you were just like like rambo but you know there you go luke maybe we'll just move on with our lives all right let's just move on with our lives yeah thank you it got mer- it got very methy <laughs> nuke thomas i love it calling him nuke thomas is fucking hilarious it got very messy but yeah he clearly regretted it i think after the fact i think luke definitely regretted it um because essentially when you don't care about these guys who you think are lower than you um and you think you're better than them they're gonna turn this into an entire you know beef because it's good for content it's good for the views it's going to do exactly what they want it to do so if you actually wanted to stop this from go, being a back and forth, you probably should have just ignored it. So the fact that he fed into it and clapped back, now, you know, MMA guru and Jesse on fire are never going to shut up about Luke Thomas. Never, ever, ever. And I don't blame them. That's the game, isn't it? That's the content game. It kind of is what it is. You fed into it and now you're going to have a non-stop fucking back and forth with these guys. It's never, ever going to stop. It's never going to end. So uh, RIP to uh, Luke Thomas's mentions. They're going to get a bit meffy. He's going to get a bit pissed. And it kind of is what it fucking is, really, in that respect. He can't really do much about it. 